evening, wherever you are on this uh, most pleasant evening. There has been a clamour to get inside the ground tonight for a much-anticipated game. The uh, roads outside of the stadium have been bumper to bumper with traffic. The car parks are full. There is a torrent of humankind making its way from the nearby station and we expect every seat to be filled. An atmosphere of uh, great expectation and excitement. This is one of the great amphitheatres of the game. You are welcome to it and indeed to one of the grandest fixtures. Two high-profile, high-calibre teams. This is a welcome event for all these supporters. Yes, Peter, it's a shame it's only a, a friendly, but then again, that may help us see a more expressive attacking contest. And I'd be prepared to settle for a, a clash of, of lesser intensity in favour of, of lots of flair, skill and plenty of tricks and a few goals. I suspect I've probably overstretched my, my level of greed here. There's the whistle. Who do you think this turns on, Jim? David De Gea. He's one of the all-time great shot stoppers, Peter. His positioning is superb, and he always seems to pick the perfect moment to rush off his line. What I really like about him is the way he keeps his frame big to make... It's one! He's done very well to get to that. Oh, that's a sparkling save. Absolutely sparkling. His reflexes were ultra-sharp. Pavard. Alaba. Tolisso. Hoists it forward. Maguire does well to read it and intercepts. Lindelof. Manchester United have pushed both fullbacks into quite advanced positions here. Yeah, that's that's interesting. So what are they attempting to do? Well, it's it's a bold attempt, in my opinion, to occupy the opposition in a way they're not expecting. Van de Beek. It's Alex Telles. It is deadlocked. Lewandowski. Now it's Muller. Goretzka. Could be a chip. Lewandowski! Bayern Munich are really pouncing on any straight passes in midfield. We're talking seconds from interception to the back of the net. It's counter-attacking heaven. Bayern Munich take the lead, 1-0. Surprise, surprise, he just keeps on delivering and, listen, we all expect that. Maguire, Van der Beek looks to get on the end of this. Gnabry. Pavard goes looking. And here's Gnabry. Now it's Gnabry. Cleared without complication. And it's Rashford. Lewandowski. Now it's Muller. Now the ball's come loose and the chase is on. A really good feat from him. Now the cross. A reprieve, albeit perhaps momentary. Half time. And there we are. Off they go for half time. The breakthrough did indeed come in the first half, but there has only been that one goal. It is very, very tight. 
Well, they showed glimpses of some wonderful football to groom with the lead at half-time, and that's definitely pleased the fans. I think they'll be looking to keep this intensity up now in the second half. Bayern Munich come off having scored the only goal of the game so far. It's been tight, it's been exciting, and there is certainly plenty for us to chew on during the break. If you're just back from your break, you've missed very little of the resumption of the second half. Well, it's been tight, Peter, but I'm expecting things to, to open up now and we get some free-flowing football. Matic. Looking to hit the front line. Forward it goes. Alaba gets it away. That is as far as they're going to go. Matic. Your impression so far, Jim? They're ahead, but they're not playing as if they are. There seems to be uh, more of an emphasis on protecting their lead than, than adding to it. It's all gone a little timid. And here's Lewandowski. Koeman. Here's the cross. He's gone for it! Oh, that probably deserved better. I have to commend the wing plate, but I have to condemn the defending. They've got to stop the cross. Time for a change in personnel. Well, you have to feel a little for the player being taken off here. I think he's been made the scapegoat after that, but I guess something had to be done. I suppose it did need a little change. Fred. Takes it over to the other flank. It's pretty clear that he's being singled out. Well, he'll be seen as the number one enemy because of his creative ability. Hernandez. Lewandowski has a goal! He scores! Two up now, and they are cruising. Oh, that was a cracking little exchange to set up the finish, and a lovely understanding between both players. I mean, that's clearly tailored on the training ground and delivered beautifully on match day. So that's two now without reply. Fred. And it's played forward. Now it's Canabri. Gnabry with the delivery. <laughs> and time is up. So they have their win. They had all the answers to whatever the opposition threw at them. And the results followed inevitably. Your final thoughts, Jim? When you get free-flowing football out wide with consistent supply into the box, it brings excitement and entertainment to the proceedings. And that was a brilliant display of, of good wing play for me. And if that wasn't hard enough for the opposition, the link-up play was outstanding too. Well, that's it for tonight's match. So it just remains for me to thank Jim Beglin alongside me and to wish you all a very good 